Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've got this little hero section here. It's parallax. And it sort of goes around in opposite direction with your mouse. And that's a nice little eye-catching feature to have on your site. Really easy to do. To do this today, we're using a bit of code that we're going to get from CodePen here, supplied by Osiskin. I apologize if I said that wrong. It's really easy to do, so let's get started. I've got this page open with Elementor right here. And because we're using a code module today, this should work with the free and the pro version exactly the same. Okay, well first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this whole section right here. And we'll add a new one, we'll start from scratch. Okay, and I'm going to use a code module, so if we slide down here, there's an HTML module. I'm going to drag it and drop it here. Now here's where we can write our code. So if we go over to CodePen, and obviously I'll put this below the video, this URL. Let's get our HTML, which is just this div. Make sure you get it from the opening bracket right there to the closing div bracket. Control C to copy. And we'll paste it in our code box here. Control V to paste. Great. And next we've actually got some CSS here. And because well, we don't need this top bit, the body bit, because we're using our own body, but from there down we want it. And I've noticed they're using some H1 tags. We don't want to affect the whole of our site H1 tags there. So I think I might modify this just a little bit and I'll show you exactly what I do when we drag it over. So I'm going to grab it from the parallax, hashtag parallax right there. CSS ID all the way to the bottom. Control C again to copy. Go back. Now because it's CSS, we put it have to put it in some style tags. Style tags are left pointy, the word style, right pointy bracket. When you put it in the right one, it'll put in the closing tag, which is exactly the same just with a forward slash in front of the word style. And in between the two there we can paste our CSS code. There we go. And as you can see, it's pulled in that image. We've got no movement yet because we haven't pulled in the JavaScript. OK, let's just go down a bit. Here, we've got the actual height and width of it, 100%, which is fine. We want it to be 100% of the available width, which at the moment is just from here to here, but we'll change that in a minute. But I don't want it as high as that. I want it sort of two thirds or about 60%. And they're using VH, which is viewable height here. So I'm going to change mine from 100 viewable height, which is basically the whole height of the available screen size there, to 60 maybe. There we go. To me, that's a bit more manageable. It's entirely up to you what you decide to do, obviously. All right. Now here's the H1 I was talking about. We've got to be careful. We don't want to affect any of the other H1 tags on our site. So what I'm going to do is grab the parallax CSS ID right there, control C copy. I'm going to put it in front of the H1 with a space. That way it's only going to target the H1s that are in this parallax div that we've got here. So it won't affect anything else there. Great. Well, let's go into our section here. Blue tab at the top for the section. As you can see, it says section up here. And I want to give it a colored background or a gradient background, or you can give it an image background, whatever you want, so we can see what's going on here. And I also want it to be full width. At the moment, it's boxed. So let's put the content full width. Now it's stretching the whole full width right here. If we go over to our style. We got background type. I'm going to put in a gradient, which is the second one right here. For the first color, uh, to use a sort of dark gray. And for the second color, I'm going to use a straight black. 
obviously you use it exactly what works for you. Now we can see what's going on here. In fact, let's change this black to a bit of, bit of a dark blue perhaps, so we've got a bit of colour going on there. Something like that. There we go. So we can see what's happening there. And we can take it down a bit more. We've got some padding on our section top and bottom. If I hover over above and below the blue lines there. Now if that's the right height for you, that's fine. If you want to shorten it up a bit more without taking the code down, we can go into our advanced tab. We're still in our section right here. Or where it says padding, just put a zero in there. It'll do all four at once when you've got that highlighted. There we go, now our section's about the right size. So now we can go back into our little code module here. Little blue button over to the right. And we can add the JavaScript. And I see an H1 there that hasn't got that parallax in front of it. So let's just make sure we've got that so we're not affecting every H1 on the site. There we go. Okay, and then down below our closing style tag, we've got to put some script tags. So I'm going to jump down a couple. Open, same. Left pointy to open, the word script. And right pointy, and again, it'll put a closer in there for you. We can go get our JavaScript now and make this move. Back over to the code pen. Here's the JavaScript. Control A to select all. Control C to copy back in and we can paste our script between the two script tags there there we go and now as you can see we've got motion and of course you don't want yours to say parallax there you might want it to say something else so let's go up and right at the top here there's the word parallax and that's what it wants to say up here in between the h1 tags and so you can select that and make it say anything you want. Let's just delete that. And you might have noticed that it's kind of opaque there. We can't see it. If you want to bring that up, if we look down here, it's actually white in color. This is the Parallax H1 right here. But the opacity is 0.2 which is pretty well see-through. If you bring it up to just a single one, it's fully visible like that. And you can increment it down. We can bring it up to 0 0.6 or 0 0.6, whatever you want. And it's a little less. I'm going to leave mine just like that. I think I'll add a bit of color to the top there and I think we're done. So let's go back into our little section right here back into the section and the style tab Let's make this color right here a bluey or a purpley sort of color there we go we can still see everything that's going on but we've got a bit of color there I can darken that down a little bit there we go update and we'll preview our changes and there we go, we've got our awesome title and that parallax broken glass type effect. Of course, you could put an image in the background as well if you wanted to. And that's a nice little interesting feature to have on your site. Really easy to do, as you can see. So I hope you've enjoyed this today. That's how to create a little parallax section with a broken glass type effect. If you have enjoyed this today, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.